in a town not too far from you, there's a man named Oliver. Oliver is tall, fairly athletic, and what most people consider attractive. He has a good job, lots of friends, a loving family. But Oliver has a secret. Don't most of us have secrets? Well, yes. But this is a secret so humiliating that it's haunted him since childhood. Most children go through it, and most children outgrow it. The problem is, he didn't outgrow it. He is now an adult. Oliver is now an adult bedwetter. Despite his successful career, vibrant social life, nice physique and personality, the nightly struggle is a constant shadow looming over him, following him everywhere he goes, feeding into his hidden loneliness. For years, Oliver has tried various methods to fix himself, from medications to therapy to hypnosis files from sketchy online sellers, but the elusive cure was always just out of reach. Finally, after years of feeling defeated and lost, around the time he turned 40, Oliver decided it was time to confront his embarrassing issue head-on, whatever that may entail. Driven by his newfound determination, Oliver sought the help of a support group for adult bedwetters. Initially, he felt hesitant. This isn't anything he's ever been brave enough to share with anyone. He's never even uttered the words out loud to himself. After he discovered a community of individuals who shared his struggles and understood the emotional toll it took, he started to feel okay. Over the weeks, as stories were shared and bonds were formed, Oliver realized he wasn't alone. He actually started to feel a bit more comfortable with his issue, and himself. After a meeting, a young woman named Tracy approached him. She didn't usually share much, which he initially found strange, but everyone is entitled to some privacy. He certainly hadn't shared every aspect of himself with the group. She was nice, nonetheless. The two decided to get coffee at a local shop near Tracy's home. It was a quiet little place on the corner from her apartment building. After a couple of hours, Oliver noticed the time. So did Tracy. Neither wanted the conversation to end, so Tracy invited him over to her place to hang out for a bit. It was getting late, and he was getting sleepy, but Oliver couldn't pass up the invitation. Tracy's place is modest, yet adorable, much like she is. It seemed as though she had plants in every corner and every wall was covered in books. Somehow, Oliver felt good to be there, like he was back home as a kid. Tracy brought out two cups of tea so they could sit and chat more over warm drinks. Everything felt so natural 